Hey guys, Davey here from PhoneBluff.com and in this video we're doing a benchmarking on the HTC One X. In this case, it's Sprint's Evo 4G LTE variant. Um, I'll go ahead and start the benchmark and uh, basically what I'll do is I'll start it and then I'll just skip to the results so you guys can see the scores. I'm going to be doing the Antuntu, Nanomark, Quadrant, and Limpack benchmark. So let's go ahead and start with Antuntu and uh, I'll let this guy load up and then I'll just go ahead and skip to uh, the results. So let's go to test and start test. All right, so the Antinitude benchmark is done. It scored a 69.88, so I'm gonna bring this up closer to camera. So 69.88, and uh, th those are the scores for the CPU, GPU, RAM, there you go. Uh, let's go ahead and run the next benchmark. So I'll go ahead and uh, actually close this guy out. And just to let you guys know, I did do a fresh uh, reboot before I started this video, so everything's gonna be nice and even. We'll go ahead and do Quadrant next, and uh, we'll just run the full benchmark and again, skip to the results. All right, so the Quadrant benchmark is done. Let's go ahead and hit yes. And uh, there you go, we got our results. So this time it scored a 47.97. And uh, we'll go ahead and go on to the next benchmark, which is gonna be Linpack. So let's go ahead and open up Linpack and uh, we'll just uh, run the multi-thread five times so we can kind of get uh, an idea as, as far as the average score. So run it the first time. So we got 184, 188, 169, 176, 162. So basically it's between, you know, 162 and 189. Um, you know, somewhere around 175 probably around average. But anyway, let's run it one more time. 172. So yeah, anyway, that's about average. Go ahead and go to the next benchmark. So let's close this guy out and then let's run Nanomark. This is mostly testing the uh, GPU on the uh, processor. So let's go ahead and hit run. And then again, I'll skip to the result. All right, so Nanomark benchmark is done. Let's go ahead and back we scored a 58.9, as you guys can see right over here. And uh, that's pretty much it for the uh, benchmarks on this guy. Um, I'll go ahead and uh, do a quick browser benchmark. I'll just do the uh, HTML5 test. All right, so you guys can see that it scored a 270 out of 500 on the HTML5 test. Let's go ahead and do the browser mark benchmark. All right, so let's go ahead and run the browser mark benchmark. I'll just hit run and skip right to the results. All right, so the browser mark benchmark is done. It scored a 103,109. So that's my last benchmark that I'm running. That's six benchmarks. Hopefully that gives you a better idea as far as the performance to expect out of the HTC One X, in this case, the uh, Evo 4G LTE variant. And uh, that's pretty much it for me in this video. If you found it helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.